Hi there, in this video we will learn about the treatment of replacement costs when we are trying to assess the feasibility of a project. In projects where there are machines, there is a need for replacement of those tools and gadgets and equipment and that requires a certain uh, upsurge in the cost and that cost can affect the overall viability of the project. How we can deal with that? It's a very simple process as you will see and when this uh, maintenance or uh, replacement process happens it can be on periodic basis perhaps after five years or after each 10 years and we can take an example of an agricultural project for example where the water pump is to be replaced we know that it cannot uh, last for you know decades so definitely it has to be replaced after some time here we have a stream of costs and benefits. On the left hand side we can see that there is a possibility of uh, uh, only one time installation of that machine. Let's consider that it's a water pump. But when it comes to the other possibility you can see that water pump is being installed after approximately 7 years. So this is the difference between the two streams and other values they are the same for example if i consider the remaining costs they are zero because there is no further need for installation of the water pump the benefits they are zero for the first two years definitely they would be because the installation has not been completed and operation it starts from the third year definitely the benefits they start to accrue and incidentally they are constant throughout the remaining stream then we find out the uh, net benefits, which is the difference of the benefits and the costs. And this is that stream. Then we have the discounting factor. And that discounting factor is also calculated here. The discount rate behind this discounting factor is 12%. And then finally we calculate the discounted net benefits. So these are the values we can see till the end of the project, which is lasting for 25 years. This is the NPV for which we found the DNBs, that is the discounted net benefits. Using the same uh, stream of uh, dis discounted net benefits and the net benefits, we can find out the IRR. You can pause the video and use the interpolation formula after doing the trial and error for the two discount rates where the NPV turns negative from positive and then we have nkr it is also found you can also find out the uh, payback period you can also find out the net benefit investment ratio so these are the uh, be benefit to cost ratio because this is already found that is the net benefit investment ratio so all of the discounting uh, discounted measures of project work you can easily find out you can see that it is desirable in all of these measures of project worth. When it comes to the other possibility where the installation is required on periodic basis, that is after the second year, it is required in the ninth year, and then in the uh, 16th year, and then in the 23rd year, uh, it is the situation where it is getting um, used considerably and uh, there is a requirement to replace it. So definitely it will affect the cost column. That's, this is why we are mentioning it as the cost, including the replacement, which is getting repeated after a certain period of time here and there and so on up to this level. And then we have the difference of the two. This is the difference of the two. Then we have the discounted and discounting factor, which is the same at 12%. And finally, the discounted net benefits with the replacement cost, which is getting repeated. So this will be the final column. Now we can find the NPV for replacement pattern and IRR and NKR as well. Again, payback period can be found as well as we can find the benefit to cost ratio. These are the values of these three discounted measures of project work. You can see that um, the value has declined and it is quite justified because the cost is increasing after uh, each seven years approximately. So instead of this um, 
zero and this zero and that zero we have two to three as the replacement cost which is increasing the cost on the whole and declining the benefits uh, declining the net benefits and this is why we have NPV declining to this uh, IRR declining to that and NKR also declining so this upsurge is causing the project uh, to remain desirable despite the decline in them but it's not necessary that uh, these replacement costs they never convert the viable project into an inviable project because we are just going to uh, consider an example here here you see that we have another uh, stream and in this stream we have the cost uh, when there is replacement in the benefits and the net benefits and the discounting factor and the discounted net benefits in case of replacement and in this case the replacement cost of that certain water pump or any other gadget is higher and it is 1000 whereas it was 223 in the last situation and it is happening periodically after approximately seven years so you can see that it is happening with this uh, repetition so definitely the remaining process is the same we have done it many times before you can pause the video and see if the calculations are correct and finally you can find out the NPV and now you can see it is negative and you have the IRR IRR is also there but it is lesser than 12 percent if we consider that the opportunity cost of capital is 12 percent then it is less than that which means that the project is not desirable from the point of view of IRR as well NCO, NKR is also showing the same situation where the project is not acceptable because it is less than one so here you see that all these three undesirable situations are depicted here and it is all because the replacement cost it got ex it increased and instead of 223 it became 1000 there is another case that we can analyze here and that is the uh, change in the replacement cost because it is not necessary that if we have installed the water pump in the second year and if it costs 1000 currency units and it will cost the same in the ninth year and the same in the 16th as well as in the 23rd year it can differ so we can also consider that case by changing this value of 1000 or by changing this value of uh, 223 in these cases when we do definitely we expect uh, a change in the NPV and IRR and NKR these values can change in uh, either of the two possibilities that uh, the project remain desirable just like it remained desirable here or it can become undesirable just like it became undesirable here so that possibility is uh, there and it is quite logical because uh, so as a, re a rehearsal you can do this experiment by using different replacement costs and over time you, you may increase this cost because uh, in real world basically the cost increases things get expensive uh, it can also decrease if the technology is improving at a rate where uh, it makes the device uh, cheaper as compared to the previous years but definitely this depends upon the situation so you can experiment with both of these cases either with an increase in the replacement cost or a decrease in the replacement cost so this is how you treat the replacement cost whenever you are doing the discounted measures of project worth analysis of a certain project Thank you.